Hello everyone, welcome to another episode with the Grim Ripper. This is Jason. Today is Thursday and that means Thursday Thunder. Today we're going to go back in time again. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, get subscribed to the channel, and hopefully as we grow, we can get bigger and better things onto the channel. We're shooting for 300 subscribers, that's our next stop. We're closing in on 280, so we're getting close. So if you have any friends that you think would enjoy the channel, make sure you share this video with them. And hopefully we can bring them into the Grimm family. And I appreciate everyone who has already subscribed and is actively watching videos and commenting on those videos. And hitting that like button helps out a lot as well. So thanks again to everyone who is following the channel. And be sure to check out our Patreon uh, subscriptions as well. You can actually receive some great cards in the mail. I will be sending out the March uh, Patreon packages here pretty soon to my Patreon members. I'd like to thank those of you who have already signed up and are receiving those Patreon packs each month. I do appreciate the support. All right, so today's video is sponsored by Debbie. Debbie is from Chicago. She's a White Sox fan and also a Green Bay Packers fan. And so uh, whenever we open packs for her, we're looking for Chicago White Sox cards. I don't know if I said Cubs fan earlier. She's a White Sox fan. And anyway, we always look for White Sox players as well as the key rookies and Hall of Famers from the sets that we open for her. So today, we're going to tear into a baseball card exchange sealed box of 1987 Donruss baseball. And the reason I do it sideways is I'm on a limited workspace so you can't really see the whole thing vertically. But anyway, you can see that this is a baseball card exchange sealed box of 1987 Donruss. We'll get the back of that on the screen here. There we go. 1987 Donruss Baseball Unopened Wax Box from Baseball Card Exchange. So we'll go ahead and tear into this one. The box bottom also has some cool stuff on it. We'll look at that in a moment. See if I can get a little tiny bit wider shot here. It's not going to be much, but a little bit. All right, let us open this one. All right, we usually start in the top left of these boxes but I think we're gonna change things up today and start in the bottom right. So right down here behind Mr. Dale Murphy, we're going to take that stack of cards for Debbie today. Now this particular box still has some spots available. If you would like to sponsor a video on this 87 Donruss, just go to our website, thegrimrippersden.com and there you'll find a video sponsorship button. Click that button and look for the Thursday Thunder heading. You'll have to scroll down to find that. And then click on Thursday Thunder and it will take you to the offerings that we have for Thursday Thunder openings and you will see this Donruss box available there. So head on over there if you would like to sponsor a stack of cards from the 87 Donruss. Here we go. This is the stack we're going to pull from right here. Here we go. 1987. We're talking 40... No, 87. Oh, we can't be 43 years separated from 87, can we? That can't be right. <laughs> That's not right. My math has to be messed up. 87, 97, 2007... 2017 is 30 years, 33 years. Ugh. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I have about half a centimeter of space at the end of where my camera sits. And so any little bump or pull on the cord just sends the thing flying off the desk. I apologize for that. Uh, I've really got to get a bigger workspace for my videos, but I just don't have it right near my computer which makes it difficult. All right, we're gonna be careful of the cords and cables here as we move along. And we're going to jump into the first pack here. I think I'm going to pull up a small listing of 
the cards from this particular year and set so we can see who the top picks are in this set. I know there's Mark McGuire is one of the key cards from this set, but there are others as well. Let's take a look on our handy dandy auction reporting site. We'll bring up a listing of 1987 Donruss. Now, 1987 is a banner year for me because that's the year I graduated high school. So anything 1987 is pretty cool stuff, I think. Here we go. Bear with me one more moment while I get this listing up. All right. So of course, any Hall of Famers are going to be good ones to get. Bo Jackson and Greg Maddox are two of the top cards in this set. A PSA 10 Greg Maddox just sold today in PSA 10 condition for $295. So we're talking near $300 for a Greg Maddox rookie in PSA 10 condition. A Bo Jackson from this set, 1987, is going to be his rookie card. That one recently sold for $200 in PSA 10 condition. And even in nine, PSA 9, it's a $50 card. Those are two big cards. You got Rafael Palmero, Mark McGuire's rookie card is in this set. In a PSA 10, it recently sold for about 100 bucks. Who else do we have in this set? Uh, of course, the Hall of Famers, Madding, uh, not Maddingly, but uh, George Brett is listed here. Will Clark has a rookie in this set. And I know there are some other ones. Jose Canseco is in this set. His card recently sold for $90 in PSA 10 condition. So there are a lot of great cards available in this set. Nolan Ryan, of course, is always a good one. His recently sold for $175. So any, any big name Hall of Famers and those key rookies from this set are carrying quite some good value in this 1987 Donruss set and we haven't even gone through even half of the list here there's still a lot of cards in this set here we go Barry Bonds is in this set as well his card recently sold today in PSA 10 condition for $170 so I'm excited to open these for you Debbie and if anybody else wants a chance at some of these great cards uh, Barry Larkin rookie in this set also just uh, get on over to the website and snag up a stack of these it's a nine pack stack and those nine packs are only thirty three dollars on the website and there are just some wonderful investment opportunities from these packs so let's get started now with these black borders of course that makes them a challenge but as you can see from this top card Nicely centered. The corners don't have any white dings on them, which are a problem with white borders. So if you get one in that condition of one of the star players, then that would be an awesome find for you. These are nice and fresh in these packs. There's a nice Wally Joiner there. And we're hoping for some of those big rookie cards for Debbie in this rip today. Now, Hubie Brooks, Ron Davis, and there's Jack Howell to finish off pack number one. And this is a pretty nice <clears throat> design, I think. The black borders, as I mentioned, make it a challenge. But it is a pretty iconic uh, design because of the little baseball stripe through the background. You can see the baseballs to the side there. So it's a very recognizable set from the 80s let's see if we can pull some nice hall of famers a little bit of damage on the bottom of that one from the machines steve buchel jesse orozco there's a white Sox player there's our first hall of famer we've got jack morris hall of famer jack morris not perfectly centered but nonetheless a hall of famer right there so 
So maybe that will be the opening in the levee that will pour out some rookie, hot rookie cards and Hall of Famers here. There's Pete O'Brien. Hey, there's our second Hall of Famer, Robin Yount. Let's take a look at the back of these cards. We haven't done that yet. Pretty standard Donruss back. Several years of uh, stats there. That might even be his full Major League record right there. But that's a nice card. The corners are not dinged at all on that one. That's a beautiful Robin Yount. All right, let us... Continue to move on through. There's Dale Murphy. Again, a popular player throughout his career. Not in the Hall of Fame, but a lot of people sure enjoyed watching him play. There's Mazzilli and Harold Baines is a Hall of Famer, if I remember correctly. And that's a nice one. I think that one's perfectly centered. And the corners are very nice on that one as well. Let us see who else we can find. There's another White Sox player, Tim Hewlett. Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell. We're starting to see a number of Hall of Famers now. That is good. Let's see if we can continue that trend and pull... How about a Nolan Ryan? Wouldn't that be something? Since we're pulling Hall of Famers right now. To get a Nolan Ryan or one of those key rookies in this pack. Let us see. So far, quiet. Biancalana. Dickie Thon and Dave Rigetti. Hey, there we go. One of the hot rookies from the set. From this pack, we called it right there. We've got Mark McGuire rated rookie card from the Oakland Athletics. Take a look at his card right here. His batting average in 1986 was a whopping 189 in 18 games with 53 at bats. But he did have three home runs in that season with only 18 games. So there you go. Congratulations, Debbie. This card by itself, and that's a good-looking card. The corners look pretty nice on that. I don't know that I'd give it a 10. It has a little bit of a rough cut along the top edge. But that is a cool hit for you. Let's go ahead and get him sleeved and top-loaded. I'm going to do this as carefully as possible. Those black edges are susceptible when you're sleeving these things up. But there he is, safe. Safe. Mark McGuire, rated rookie. Nice hit, Deb. Nice hit indeed. Let us see if we can follow that one up with some more nice rookie cards and or Hall of Famers from this stack. We still have Boy, we still have five packs to open, which gives us a nice chance to some get some more great cards. I would really like to see a Bo Jackson come out of this uh, stack of cards. I'm a big fan of Bo Jackson. I sure wish his career had not been ended by injury. I just always imagine what his numbers would have been like at the end of a career for a such an athletic guy like that and it doesn't hurt his popularity with me that he played for the Raiders on the football side of his career There's Dwight Evans <clears throat> sporting a quite a Tom Selleck stash right there Mitch Williams who else do we have Steve Garvey another well-known popular player Sharperson, Carmen, and Franklin Stubbs to finish off that pack. A little bit of a lull in the Hall of Famer pulls right there. All right, next pack. Here we go. Start off with Sammy Stewart. Hoping for Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson. Uh, 
Jose Canseco, Nolan Ryan. Those would all be great pulls for Debbie today. We might hit another lull here. Stu Clyburn and Nate Snell to finish off that pack. We've got three more packs, Debbie. Three more chances to get the next big hit. I'm hoping we get another one. Hoping, hoping. I'm not going to call it in this pack, but I'm just putting out the hope. There's Joe Necro. Portugal and Hoyt. One of my favorite names in baseball lately, Mooney Ham. That goes on my silly name list. Hawkins and Julio Franco. There we go. Neil Heaton and Dan Schatzeter. Two more packs, Debbie. Two packs to go. Here we go, next chance. We got Ernie Camacho, Tom Needenfuhrer, Willie McGee. Got the Leech, Roden, Andres Galarraga. Come on, another one of my favorite names, Clutterbuck. On the silly name list, there's an Eric Davis card. Another popular player. All right, who else? There's Goose Gossage, another Hall of Famer. We'll put him up there. Rich Gossage, Kittle, Butler, and Cruz to finish off the pack. All right, everybody put out the vibe. Last pack magic. Last pack magic for Debbie. Let's see what the last pack in the stack will hold. And beneath the puzzle piece we have, bam, Mark Langston. All right, Mark, let's hope you're hiding one of the great cards. Aha, there we go. That's another one. And two in a row. These are two of the great rookie cards from the set. This Greg Maddox card, unfortunately, is not perfectly centered. But let us see what a card number 36. Let us see what the other grades of Maddox have been going for obviously psa 10 is the king of all grades but you know even in a, a grade 9 it's still a 20 25 dollar card some have sold even for more than that recently in fact today a psa 10 off center or psa 9 off center rating sold for 35 bucks so $35 seems to be, 35 to 40, a little over 40 at times on a PSA 9 is going. But uh, at any rate, that is still indeed one of the top rookie cards from the set. I'm sorry it's not better centered for you. But I guess that's why the PSA 10 condition is such a rare thing. Because perfection was not the goal of baseball card companies when they were making cards. So we're going to put him up there. But you also got the Rafael Palmero, which this Palmero is in really nice condition. The corners on this one look good. The centering is better than the uh, Greg Maddox. And a Palmero, let's see, right there, Rafael Palmero in a PSA 10 is still a like a $45 card and I don't know if this one's a 10 but there he is and I'm gonna sleeve him up as well for you just because that is his rookie card and we don't want it to get damaged okay there he is mr. Rafael Palmero, so far your Mark McGuire is your best hit. Oh, I wish that Maddox had been in perfect condition. That would have been your best hit. All right, Daryl Evans. And we've got Thomas Davis. Here's White Sox Diamond King, Greg Walker. 
Jim Morrison, Landro, Lee Brandt, three cards, four cards to go, Rafael Santana, Oberkfell, and Sachs. Not a bad haul for you, Debbie. You got one of the key rookies here in Mark McGuire. So congratulations there, and you did pull two other of the rated rookies that are great ones from this set. So thanks again for sponsoring today, and thank you everybody else for dropping by. Make sure to hit the like button on the way out. Get subscribed if you have not, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It is Fan Friday, and we do have a live stream planned for tomorrow with multiple giveaways for the past three weeks of videos. So we're going to do three giveaways and we're also going to dig into a baseball card exchange sealed box and I think it might be from a fresh case of 1987 Fleer. One of my favorite sets of all time. If you have not sponsored any of that, head over to the GrimRippersDen.com and get sponsored for our live rip tomorrow. And so we hope to see many of you there. Have a great day, and we'll catch all of you later.